Hey guys, so today we will show you how to update the firmware on your standalone Doser 2.1. In order to get started, we will first have to install the latest version of GHL Control Center by going to www.aquariumcomputer.com. From the home page, move your cursor over to our support tab and click on downloads. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and under Software Tools and Drivers, select the latest version of GHL Control Center. Click on the blue download button to begin downloading GCC. Once that is complete, install the software to your PC and open it up. Keep in mind that every time you download a new version of GHL Control Center, you also download the most recent firmware files for all GHL devices. With GCC started, Go ahead and connect to your Doser 2.1 via USB. Please keep in mind that firmware updates can only be carried out with a USB connection. If you connect to the Doser via Wi-Fi or LAN, please disconnect and reconnect via USB. Once you are connected, click on the Backup and Restore tab at the top of the screen and transmit your Doser settings to a file. This file can later be used to restore your settings to the doser if the need arises. Once your settings are backed up, click on the Extras tab, followed by Firmware Update, located under the Maintenance section. Read the information shown on the screen, check the box, then click Continue. Click Next to enter bootloader mode. After a few seconds, the doser's LED logo light will turn off and load the USB VCOM driver. From here, click on Device Manager and click on the Ports Common LPT drop-down box. You will then see the USB VCOM driver listed with a COM number beside it. Minimize the Device Manager window and type in the USB VCOM COM number that is listed in your Device Manager window. For example, if we go back to the Device Manager window, we can see that the COM number is 5. To proceed to the next step, you must confirm that the correct COM number has been entered into this box. With that completed, click Next. In this step, GCC automatically finds and selects the newest firmware version. If you would like to load a different firmware version, you can do so by clicking on the folder icon here. In this case, you would need to locate the firmware file you wish to load. Once that is done, click Next, and the firmware update will begin. Please make sure that under no circumstances this firmware update is interrupted. Once this update has completed, you can go ahead and restart the doser by unplugging it from the wall and plugging it back in. After about 10 to 20 seconds, reconnect to the doser via USB. Once you are connected, you will be able to see the new firmware version displayed in the General Settings page. If you need to restore your doser settings, click on the Backup and Restore tab, then click on Transmit from File to GHL Doser 2. Once you click on that button, you will need to locate the saved file, then click Open. Thanks guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you'd like to see certain how-to videos, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions for us and need further support, you can always reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at